Hey guys, Andre Farmer here, and this video is going to be a little slower paced than some of my other videos because today I really want to explain in detail what I'm doing. So I'm going to explain to you a technique that I use in order to taste what fruit are going to taste like before a seedling would normally produce fruit. So when you plant a seedling, especially a mango seedling, you have a really long wait before you're going to get to taste what the fruit tastes like. And because they are polyembryonic, you don't necessarily get the same fruit that you planted. You're gonna get a fruit that's a little bit different and that's how we get new varieties of mangoes. So here I have a mango seedling. I don't know what seed it came from, but it's a mango seedling. I'm gonna let it grow out, but I wanna have an idea what this fruit is gonna taste like before it actually produces. I don't wanna wait 10 years to find out I don't like this fruit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prune this tree, which is what we normally do anyways, because I don't love the shape of this tree. Um, it's growing as one single stalk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this where we kind of want our branches to start branching out. So we're gonna cut it right here. And we just cut the top off of this little mango here. This is the top. We are gonna graft this on to a mature tree. And what that's gonna do is this branch is gonna produce that fruit much sooner than it would if I had left it on the seedling. So maybe in two or three years, this branch will start producing fruit and we'll get an idea whether that's gonna be a really good seedling or whether that seedling's gonna be kind of mediocre. So I'm gonna to try to do this without editing. We're just gonna go over to this tree here. I've already set up a little bit of a stand here. And this is the branch that I really want to graft this onto. So we're gonna go through all the steps of grafting this right now and we're gonna do it in real time. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take all the leaves off. And what we're hoping that is that through the top bud here, it's gonna push out new leaves once we graft it on. So now this, whoop, so dropped it. That's what happens when you do stuff in real time. There's no second takes. So we're gonna cut this right about here. I think this is long enough. And this is what's called our scion. Now we're gonna get our buddy tape and if you're with me this far, you're probably gonna make it all the way to the end. I know it's not as fast paced as some of my videos, but we're just gonna go kind of slow here so we can explain everything. And this is my buddy tape. It's a graphing tape that you don't have to remove because the leaves will grow right through this. So we're gonna just drop that there. And all we're gonna do is just wrap our scion. I'm gonna wrap it all the way around. And we've got our knife. We're using a, a box cutter this time. And all we're gonna do is cut this into a wedge here. We got a nice wedge. Now we're gonna find the point on our recipient plant where we have about the same diameter because we wanna make sure that our cambiums line up. Now our cambiums are the layer right underneath the bark. The little green layer is the cambium. So now that we've got that cut, pretty much the same diameter here, we're gonna go ahead and make a slit right down the middle here and that's what our little wedge is gonna go into. Be careful that we don't just split this all the way down, but I want to get it about three quarters of an inch in there. And then we're just going to slip our scion directly in there. Now the key is we want to make sure that we really can't see any daylight between them. I know it's hard to see, but that's a pretty good fit right there. And we want to make sure that our cambiums on both sides are lined up. If they're not lined up on both sides, then you got to pick a side. You don't want to put it in the middle because then neither side will line up. But as long as one side is lined up, you've got a chance. If you line up both sides, you have a really good chance. So now we're going to get our other grafting tape. And we're just going to pull it tight and we're going to make it into a bit of a string. And we're going to tie this up. Now you can use a zip tie. You can use a rubber band. You can use anything you want. As long as you're applying pressure so that these two cambiums are up against each other, then you're doing it right. Now, once again, the goal of this 
is so that when this branch produces fruit, I get to taste what that seedling is gonna taste like before that seedling would produce fruit. So instead of waiting 10 years, maybe I wait two or three years, and then I get a good idea as to what I'm getting here. And all we're gonna do is just wrap this up because the reasons why your grafts tend to fail, if they do, is because they lose moisture. So we wanna make sure this is kept moist, and we also wanna keep it out of the sun. So we want to make sure we've done it in a spot here. We've done a great job here because this is a branch that's in the understory, so it's not going to get a lot of sun anyways. Sometimes I'll take a leaf and just cover it up or put a branch over top of it. But that's pretty good right there. So in a couple years, we'll find out what kind of fruit we have there, okay? All right, see you guys. Bye.